Mal district people affected by the recent violence want just one thing this Christmas, and that's peace. And to ensure that there is a large security presence, well, as many as 5,000 Christian families have already left the district for safer places, and there are many who will spend this Christmas in relief camps, as Sampad Mahapatra reports. Christmas cheer at last in these relief camps in Kandmal. The 8,000 Christians here have lost their homes and their churches in the violence that followed the killing of Hindu religious leader Swami Lakshmanand in August. But they won't let anything spoil their biggest day of joy. Today we are happy the government is showing their goodwill that our Christian community should celebrate their Christmas. The sisters, lay people all gathered together. The suffering community should know the joy of celebration. Even last December, Christmas celebrations were overshadowed by violence and a bunt call by tribals. Christians at the relief camp in Tika Bali had almost given up on celebrations this year. But now things are looking up. A two-day youth convention attended by nearly 3,000 people from villages across Kandamal helped in spreading sun Christmas goodwill. We have also made discussion with the leaders of the Christian community. Arrangements are being made for midnight mass and celebration of uh, Christmas even in the relief camps and in made all the main uh, religious institutions they have they will be observing midnight mass and uh, what they call uh, midnight service in some remote areas persisting fear may still keep some christians away from midnight mass but these are isolated cases at a time christmas has brought hope for a badly wounded community with camera person sabhya sachi panigrahi and sampad mahapatra and kanmal sandeep thukan ndtv